One day after the protests at the University of the West Indies campus in Trinidad, an urgent question was posed in the House of Representatives by Cuba South MP Rujanathan Darsing. Question to the Minister of Education. Uh, will the Minister inform this House of the urgent measures which have been pursued by the government to avoid a complete shutdown of the University of the West Indies St. Augustine campus? given the rejection of the government's 2% for the collective bargaining period 2015 to 2017 by the West, Indian, West Indies group of university teachers. Finance Minister Colm Imbert rose to respond to the opposition MP's question. First, let me correct the statement in the question which sort of implied, insinuated or said outright that there will be a total collapse of the St. Augustine campus. I don't think so. I think that is just an alarmist wording from the member for Cuba South. The finance minister spoke about what he said had occurred during the UNC-led People's Partnership Administration. Over the period August 2011 to July 2014, the then ministerial committee under the previous administration approved a 10% adjustment in compensation for academic and senior staff at the University of the West Indies, represented by the West Indies group of university teachers, Wigat. The finance minister said the government has offered the same 4% extended to the public service and the protective services. I am advised that Wigat refused to consider the last period, 2017 to 2020, and has not accepted the offer for the period 2014 to 2017. I am told that the Wigat is asking for the following. With effect from July 2014, 8%. With effect from July 2015, another 8%. And with effect from 2016, another 8%. A total of 24% for the period 2014 to 2017. Minister Imbert said the union's proposal would cost an estimated additional $78 million per annum for the UE St. Augustine campus. MP and R. Singh said the negotiations at UE's campuses in Jamaica and Barbados have been concluded. The finance minister indicated there's a difference where Trinidad and Tobago is concerned. If we were to accept the proposal from Wigat, the back pay would be $701 million dollars as at March 2024. The cost of the 4% offer which we have offered to everybody else and which has been accepted by most trade unions is estimated at a back pay of 79 million and 12 million in additional recurrent expenditure. And it is no secret, the member can pretend otherwise, that UWI is funded by the state with hundreds of millions of dollars in subventions. The finance minister said any settlement of wages at UE will place the responsibility on the government and taxpayers to fund the increase. Jewel Brown, TV6 News.